biologists are often faced with the task of comparing many similar phylogenies, that is, trees that describe evolutionary relationships between species or genes. Although some sophisticated tools for tree manipulation exist, for instance McClade as shown here, they are designed for small data sets of dozens or hundreds of nodes, and they have very limited support for comparison between trees. The spread of DNA sequencing is leading biologists toward the creation of much larger trees, thousands of species today, and millions within the coming few years. We present Tree Juxtaposer, a new tree visualization tool supporting scalable comparison and navigation of phylogenetic trees of over 300,000 nodes. Even small trees are hard to compare with visual attention alone. Linked highlighting of nodes and subtrees helps. Perfect matches for named leaves are easy to find, but computing the best corresponding nodes in the interior required a new algorithm that runs in n log n time at startup. Highlighting alone can still lead to false negative conclusions. We see two leaves highlighted in exactly the same spot on both sides, but their structural relationship to the rest of the tree differs. We can mark the exact place in the tree where structural differences occur using the results of the corresponding node computation. Subtrees underneath the black edges are guaranteed to be contiguous on both sides. The red edges show where a subtree from one side maps to a non-contiguous area in the other. Mouse over highlighting also allows us to check this property on the fly. Biologists call continuous subtrees a clade, and determining whether a clade in one tree is also a clade in the other is a recurring core question. When comparing these larger trees of 4,000 nodes, automatic detection and marking of structural difference is even more critical. Our new navigation technique, where growing one area leads to shrinking of all other places that don't share the rectangle's horizontal or vertical strip, is a new global focus plus context approach called accordion tree. We can manipulate areas that exactly encompass a subtree for structured distortion, or freely drag out a rectangle in space that defines an area that we resize. We turn on linked navigation between windows, which allows manipulations of one view to synchronously drive the corresponding changes in the other. Our best corresponding node computational infrastructure supports this functionality efficiently. Unmarked objects, drawn in grayscale, are dimmed according to their depth in tree so that the brightness level is tied to the distance to the root. This redundant visual coding helps users stay oriented despite the distortion-based navigation. Marked objects have a similar coding, where their saturation depends on current screen extent. Marking the differences does not help here, when most of the interior nodes are different because we compare a non-binary tree of 3,000 leaves with a binary one. Marking the metazoa subtree in blue and the Viridiplantae subtree in green shows that despite the difference in interior structure, the leaves are contiguous on both sides. Zooming into the Ascomycota group brings us to subtrees, or clades, that are contiguous in the taxonomy on the left, but are spread out forests in the binary phylogeny on the right. Our algorithm ensures guaranteed visibility of highlighted objects, even if they are currently subtending less than one pixel of screen space. This IBM T221 display has 9 million pixels, and the same two trees can be drawn with many more visible edges and labels. These displays are often backed by an entire render cluster, but we are driving it with a single card as a stress test for our progressive rendering algorithm. We guarantee immediate response to user interaction, even if the periphery is not yet filled in. We carefully choose the drawing order of nodes, links, and labels, depending on both tree topology and the current focus area, to fill in the areas most likely to be noticed first. Our software is written in Java for easy portability, with bindings to OpenGL. Finally, our system maintains responsiveness even when comparing these two spanning trees of Internet Backbone router topology that each contain 140,000 nodes. They were constructed using different queries, ICMP pings on the left and UDP traceroutes on the right. We hypothesized that one of these packet types is blocked at high administrative levels from entire domains. However, when we looked into the correspondences of the marked tree of blockages, we found instead that they were interleaved through administrative domains.